Okay, so what we have here is 12 of our um, one key receivers. So the first thing I'll show you is how you can fire them normally. So just using the standard 12 button remote control, you can see you can just fire receiver 1, receiver 2, receiver 3, or you can jump straight to receiver 5, or receiver 9, or receiver 12. It's very basic, it's very simple. Something else you can do is you can program any number of receivers to any button on the transmitter. So, for instance, here we can have the first four receivers tied to button one, like that. We can have the next two tied to button two, like that. We could have the next two tied to button three, like that. And then we could have the remaining four tied to button four. So, you're not just limited to using 12 receivers for this. You can buy as many receivers as you want and program them to any one of the 12 buttons on the standard remote control. The next thing we can do is with the optional sequencing transmitter, you can set up a sequence to run across the receivers um, with a time delay of anywhere between 0.1 seconds all the way up to 2 seconds. There's also an all fire button on the sequencing remote control. So just to demonstrate this, I'll press the button that gives us a delay of 0.5 seconds. And you can see there, there's a sequence with 0.5 seconds between each receiver. We're running across all 12 receivers. You can run a slightly faster sequence if you want to. So I'll press the 0.1 second button. And you can see that fast sequence go across the receivers there. As I said, there's also an all fire button, which I can push now and that's all the receivers firing. So I'm going to show you now how you can use the sequencer with more than 12 receivers. The important thing to remember is that you can only have a maximum of 12 receiver groups. Now you can have as many receivers in each receiver group as you want and then you'll have a delay between each group. So you can have just one receiver in each group which would be exactly like I just showed you with 12 receivers or you can have different numbers of receivers in each group. So here, for instance, we've got 14 receivers in six groups, with group one being on the left, coming through to group six on the right. So, for example, I'll just fire them all now with a 0.5 second delay between each group. You can see that run across the receivers. Or we could do a much faster sequence with only 0.1 seconds between each group. Or at the other end of the scale, we could do a much slower sequence with two seconds between each group. So I hope by watching this I've given you a better understanding of how the system works.